गुड मॉर्निंग वंदे मातरम वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू हियर वी आर टू डिस्कस ऑन ए परफेक्ट इक्वालिटी दैट इज द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन फॉर राइट नाउ ऑन इक्वालिटी वी आर गोइंग टू हैव ए डिस्कशन ऑन परफेक्ट इक्वालिटी सो थिंग्स विल डिस्कस फ्रॉम द मदर एंड इनिशियली विल हैव ए ब्रीफ डिस्कशन ऑफ कोर्स ऑन वट इज रियली this equality as uh, quoted by sri aurobindo a perfect spiritual equality is the one two and infallible sign of uh, the cessation of desire cessation of desire desire kamanar vinashi dukhar vinas so desire is the sole cause of all troubles um, anyway desire must go desire either to renunciation or to perfect satisfaction satisfaction anyway desire must go so here uh, spoil quoting on a perfect spiritual equality is here in the course a perfect spiritual equality is one true and infallible sign of the cessation of desire it has to cease and uh, for that condition a perfect spiritual unity equality is the true and the infallible sign anyway we are here to discuss on uh, equality and then we will go from uh, quote from mother on uh, what is perfect equality anyway here in the course uh, there are two attitudes that a sadhak can have two attitudes not one or uh, two attitudes a sadhak can have either a quiet equality um, to all regardless of their friendliness or hostility or a general goodwill two things a perfect uh, for the um, equality uh, i mean two attitudes these two attitudes have been uh, um, uh, remarked have been uh, indicated by the by sri aurobindo what are the two attitude so there are a two attitude that a sadhak can have either in either a quiet equality to all quiet equality to all regardless of their friendliness or hostility whatever may be the condition may be iska dosti ho ya dushman ho friendliness or hostility there must be a quiet hostility to all and the second one is general goodwill that is the condition so it does not matter whether aapka paas dosti hai ya dushman hai Uh, but uh, to all not to a couple of mon- uh, couple uh, very few confined uh, atmosphere uh, but actually to all uh, regardless of uh, their friendliness of uh, host- or hostility again sri aurobindo moves forward one step ahead mm, what you should do is to keep the right attitude keep the right attitude towards the others and not allow yourself to be upset most of the time we do that when something some we feel something is set back but thing is that all the difficulties they are uh, indicating that uh, you are surely progressing one step forward anyway um, uh, upset irritated or displeased by anything um, uh, they may say or do something something on you know, something upset irritated or displeased by some anything they say or do in other words uh, keep the samata that equality keep the samata and the universal good will in the proper to the sadhak or the yoga so the condition for sadhana and the true guideline for the sadhak as guided and the guidelines prepared by sri aurobindo two things must up there one is the samata equality and the universal good will proper to the sadhak or yoga of yoga if you do that and still others get upset or displeased you keep doing the two attitudes one is samata and the second is your universal good will still then if some people some others get upset or despised is that is displeased you must not mind as you will not be responsible for that wrong reactions so here in the course uh, two things you must have so far this sadhana and the sadhak was are concerned one is samata and the second one is uh, universal good will you try to express try to you know, you know, you utilize and uh, of course try to maintain if on um, even after that 
samatha and the good universal good will if somebody gets upset or displeased don't mind because uh, if you are not responsible for the wrong reaction that is what the steer of those comment and uh, we will go forward always be kind and you will be free you will be free from suffering always be kind and you will be free from all suffering always be contented and happy and you will radiate your quiet happiness that is what always be kind with this kindness what you will be you will be free from suffering second always be contented and uh, happy you will um, radiate your quiet happiness that is what the requirement so again was here in the course that is a nice definition night nice sentence you can find a condition of perfect samatha or equality can be established in which one sees all as equal friends and enemies included all friends are dosti or dost or dusman both equal friends and uh, you know uh, enemies and is not disturbed by what men do or say like that uh, today i was discussing this morning i was just preparing a topic one uh, sadhu intended even youth intend youth intending to go for sanyas and the three ladies uh, that was that's what the story um, i kept um, preparing in this morning early early this morning only i was preparing and here you can find uh, one young man he is intending to um, uh, go for sanyas to be sanyasi so he was going on the way he got tired he was trying to rest near the uh, bank of a river so that time he had one chapal so this uh, chapal also anyway chapal was there he kept at the site uh, under a tree uh, near the bank of the river and what he did uh, um, got one stone and he used that stone as a pillow and uh, that time he was resting then three ladies were coming they saw they, they were coming to the river for water they could be able to know that this man is uh, this young man was intending to be uh, sadhu sanyasi or going for uh, sanyas someone of this three told just see um, he is in need of a pillow then what sadhana he is going to do then this this man got up he felt yes it is also it is, it is dragging this pillow is dragging me so somebody has given a comment so i must uh, put uh, put this pillow uh, this stone and use as a pillow behind and i must move on then the second and then that time he was wearing the chapal putting on the chapal then this second lady had a another bitter comment when he is interested in putting on the chapal using the chapal then what sadha he is going to do then this time actually this man uh, try to try to understand yes chapal is also a dragging factor in my sadha then he was trying to go then third started speaking see what sadhana is this man is going to do he is uh, being moved by all these fam- pe- things whatever people say or think these two ladies they suggested someone something and uh, this man is moved according moving according to his will, will and that is not the real thing that uh, the sadhak uh, that is not a accept, expected from a sadhak because he is having a variable uh, mind factor so moving with the mind here and moving there with the mind sadhana is not as that are possible so what is needed, needed that the mind must be concentrated mind must be far whatever somebody may think somebody may speak somebody may feel it must not actually um, uh, put you in a, in a bondage that is what the requirement but this man is uh, not in touch so th- finally this ma- young man is understanding <coughs> with the unstable mind i can do anything so i must do what the divine wants me to do that is what anyway we are going for the topic uh, now till now we have heard something learned something um, from you know equality and the good will so here we will quote something from mother um, perfect equality the mother quotes when things happen which are not <coughs> what we expect so naturally sorrow will come sadness will come that uh, that is the very very common we something happens when things happen that we are not uh, we don't we are not that are which are not uh, as we what we expect what we hope for what we want and what we are contrary to our desires that is what your <coughs> mother has quoted something happens and which uh, we did not expect we did not hope we did not want 
and contrary to our desires in our ignorance we call them misfortunes or lam and lament something is happening that we don't expect we don't want we don't appreciate we don't accept so that we normally come normally we take it it is our misfortune and we lament over that misfortune but uh, if we, we are to become a little wiser and observe the deeper consequence of the very same event mother course if normally something happens that we we are not interested to we are we don't accept even uh, everything is contrary to our desires we don't want we don't hope for <coughs> then what happens then what happens really we lament we feel this is our misfortune but as uh, here in the mother course if little bit you were uh, wise and if you were able to observe the deeper consequence of this same event you would find that uh, they are leading uh, rapidly towards the divine that is what they are leading you rapidly towards the divine that is the great thing rapidly towards the divine but actually we are unable to mark the divine the beloved whereas easy and pleasant circumstances encourage us whereas easy and pleasant encourage us to dally on the path to stop along the way to pluck the flowers of pleasure which present themselves to us and which are too weak and not sincere enough to reject resolutely so that our reach forward is not delayed see something is going on with uh, something we get something normally we achieve and with this uh, we don't analyze the consequence but we, we feel very happy and we don't know this is not uh, the very fast method even if it is seeming pleasant it is not uh, taking us towards the goal but something that is uh, happening beyond uh, something happening contrary that is beyond the expectation, beyond our expectation that we are not able to achieve or accept. That has got a deeper meaning for us, but we don't remember. That's what I will tell, try to tell again. So, something which is actually taking, taking us to our, rapidly towards the divine, the beloved. Whereas, easy and pleasant circumstances encourage, easy and pleasant circumstances encourage us to um, dally on the path. Everything must be easy, everything must be pleasant, so to go on the dally with the path. And stop along the way to pluck the flowers of pleasure. We will stop there, we will enjoy, we will try to pick up, pluck the flowers which present themselves to us and which are too weak and not sincere enough to reject it is a little these are whatever we are uh, stopping to um, um, uh, plug the flowers of uh, pleasure this is not actually encouraging so not sincere enough to reject we are not uh, sincere also to reject them resolutely so that one march forward is not delayed things are there very much clear again so what we have to do what is our reason one must already be um, very strong Second, very uh, far along the way to be able to face success and the little enjoyment it brings without giving way. Very strong. So what you have to do on your part, one must be very strong. Very far along the way, very far along the way, because you don't know. Kitna dur jana hai ye bata nahi sakte, ye it is an unending story. So, far away to be able to face success and the little enjoyments it brings without giving way that's what you must have a preparation in your mind those who can do this those who are strong don't run after success those who can do this those who are strongest strong don't run after the success don't uh, they don't seek it and of course um, they accept with indifference whatever is coming because they they know their path is very long they have to go they have to march forward a big distance they must be strong with the small successes they can be uh, happy for they know and appreciate of the value of losses given by unhappiness and misfortune they are they, uh, this unhappiness and misfortune it can't shake them so because they know the goal things will come they are very much uh, actually you know consistent they, they know they have predicted 
but ultimately the two attitude what is the two attitude the sign and proof that we are near to the goal when night is the darkest before the dawn you know when the night is the darkest it indicates uh, that uh, dawn is on the way very near winter is the surest sign that uh, spring is coming winter hard winter it will be trembling like anything but it signifies that uh, the very pleasant spring on the way so um, ultimately the true attitude the sign and the proof that we are near the goal is a perfect equality which enables us to accept success and failure whatever may come whatever you choose death or life this is acceptable to me it is rather fair so whatever may come success or failure fortune or misfortune happiness and sorrow with the same tranquil joy not to be moved by anything either positive side or negative side your success and failure fortune and misfortune your happiness and the sorrow with a tranquil joy for all these things become marvelous gifts that the lord in his infinity solicitude solicitude a swear upon us whatever is there whatever is planned whatever the divine has chosen for us that is for the best so we must be able to know to pick up to understand the value of the divine gift that is bestowed upon us so that perfect equality is a must and we have to go for that we must not be hesitated this displeasure this discontent must not be there and um, we must be sure we must be sure that whatever is being done whatever is coming for, uh, to us that is with uh, you know um, um, that is for the best of us so here um, as you can remember that on samatha fight destroy the adversary conquer so this uh, this reference you can go but the gita the strong sentence strongly insists on the perfect and absolute samatha goes on to say fight destroy the adversary and the conquer like this we have to be very much prominent very much aware very much consciousness conscious and very much um, you know aware when you are reaching, reaching we are on the path of the yoga thank you bande matram